going on everybody it's Jet Central coming back with another video and the New York Jets made some headlines this morning by bringing in backup quarterback Davis Webb signing him to the practice squad okay and Davis Webb is a pretty interesting case study to say the least uh, he played at two colleges right he played his early days of college football with with uh, Texas Tech Cliff Kingsbury and uh, once Patrick Mahomes got the starting gig down there with the Red Raiders, he transferred up to Cal and did some pretty nice things, you know, replacing Jared Goff in that 2016 season. He did some pretty nice things, threw for a lot of yards, a lot of completions, a lot of touchdown passes. Uh, granted, it was the Bear Raid, you know, offensive system, so... You know, you can make the argument that any quarterback with a uh, with a above average skill set can put up the same numbers. But in any case, Davis Webb went out, did his job, won games, uh, and then he went to the Senior Bowl, did really well down in Mobile, and uh, ended up being a third round draft choice by the New York Giants. This guy at one point was really highly thought of. Um, he has decent size, he has an average arm, uh, but what I really like about Davis Webb. It's the intangibles, right? He is the one of the hardest workers that you'll find. And if you go watch documentaries, if you go watch interviews with him, not anything recent, but you know, two, three, four years back, Davis Webb, you can see that this guy is committed to the game of football. Okay, and uh, you know, son of a coach, son of a football coach, you know Davis Webb just by listening to him in interviews and watching his documentaries and whatnot. You could tell that this guy, he's kind of like an old soul. He only cares about football. I mean, he's hes said multiple times, teams have reported that this guy is in the facility uh, from that, you know, the crack of dawn until, you know, he's in the facility for 10, 11, 12, 13 hours every day, seven days a week, no holidays, doesn't take any time off. And you could be ask, asking yourself, okay, if this guy is tall, this guy's a good arm, and this guy is dedicated off the field, why are we signing him to the practice squad? Why do the New York Giants cut him? Well, you know, I, I would have to sit back and say he did not really, uh, the production just was not there in, in the preseason, uh, you know, of, of this season and last year because uh, he's entering year, um, entering year two. And really, he was trying to make the team. He was trying to make the New York Giants football team battling against uh, Kyle Lauletta for the backup role, you know, because Eli Manning is the starting quarterback over there in New York. Hell, that's why they, that's what they sold to the uh, fan base when they took Saquon Barkley, running back from Penn State, second overall, passing on guys like Josh Allen, Sam Darnold, and uh, Josh Rosen. So Eli Manning's the starter, and then they were kind of, you know, the backup position was up for grabs. Kyle Lauletta, He's their guy, you know, this new regime, Dave Gettleman, Pat Shermer chose Lauletta in the fourth round out of Richmond, another guy who I liked, accurate, on the shorter end, kind of reminds me a little, a little bit of uh, Trevor Simeon. And then uh, Davis Webb was picked by the old regime, who was um, who Jerry Reese and uh, Ben McAdoo. So he wasn't tied to this new regime at all. So the Giants said, you know what, Lauletta is, Lauletta is younger, he's cheaper, He's more more accurate with the football, and we have him under contract for longer. So they went with Kyle, completely understandable. And then Davis Webb hit the market, and you know I, I do like the move. Uh, I don't I don't think he's going to push Sam Donald to be the starting quarterback, and uh, I, I think he will be on the practice squad for pretty much all this year. You know, barring any any crazy injury. But I do like the pickup because Davis Webb. One thing that he does bring to the table, uh, or does you know he will bring to this quarterback room is he will show Sam Donald how to be a pro because Davis Webb is no nonsense. He is football 24 seven and kind of in the eyes of Davis Webb, you know, f focusing on him, you know, for hit from his point of view, I think pairing him up next to a guy named Josh McCown is going to be really beneficial for Webb's career going forward. Cause Josh is a guy who's a lot like Webb, you know, a big, he, he doesn't really do anything wrong off the field, only cares about football, and uh, he might, Davis Webb is kind of similar with Josh because he might have to wait in line, you know, a few years to get a, get a real opportunity, but Josh McCown, the ultimate professional, I think will take Davis Webb, along with Sam Darnold, under his wing and really teach these guys kind of the ways of the, uh, of the, of the National Football League, so... I like Davis, not in love with him. I think he's just going to be the practice squad quarterback. Just figured I'd make a quick video on it because I know Davis Webb, you know, former third round pick. So at one point, this guy was really highly thought of, um, like I said before. So thought I'd make a video on it. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments section if you like the pickup of, uh, of you know, new, new quarterback Davis Webb. So thanks so much for watching. And as always, go Jets.